There's a cool thing that you can do in League of Legends replays where you record in different camera angles. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do that. To start, here's the information that you need to know. Creator Suite is a program that's used for the awesome camera control that you just saw. It does not support PBE, but it's a really great program for looking at the League of Legends game at different angles. I'm using League of Legends patch 6.9, and when you use Creator Suite, you use it on a spectated game, or you use it on replays. So for the replays, because you already know how to spectate the game, replays you can use Baron Replays or OP.GG. Baron Replays is a great program that saves replays of games that you are playing when the program is open. So you play a game, you have Baron Replays open, it records the game, saves it as a replay in this compressed format. NA.OP.GG or OP.GG, NA is for North America since I'm from North America. You can record live games that you are playing currently to be spectated later. A short demonstration of the two programs, or first, we'll look at na.op.gg. It has a little description of how the live game recording works. You'll search your player name, you will go to live game, and you, you can hit the record beta red button to record the game. Or you can spectate it live, let's say that you're looking at a friend's game, you can spectate any friend, any pro League of Legends player, and you will spectate the game immediately. For the record, it will have a spectate button or a play button in your match history for that particular game. Baron Replays, the best way to show it is to install it to you right now. System Requirements, Minimum OS is Windows 7. So this is a Windows program. Unfortunately for you Mac users, you should use OP.GG or a different replay program. But if you do have Windows, I highly recommend this program. Really easy to use, great UI. Single core CPU is not recommended. I'm using a quad core CPU laptop right now. We click the click to download button. It brings us to add fly link. We'll wait five seconds before the button appears for download. We hit skip add and then we download the executable. We'll download it anyway and we'll download it to our downloads folder. It's a 55 megabyte file, should be done in a second. We'll open it up and then I'll show you how it works. So after Baron Replays is done, we just hit and we can install it anywhere. Destination folder, it's a package executable, a program that's stored within one folder. So wherever you pick the destination folder, it will create a Baron Replays folder and will it will save all the program files inside that folder. So let's save it in our downloads folder. I would recommend you to save it in your documents or desktop. And we install. It'll be done in a second. And I'll show you how the program works. It will give you a prompt. And it says Baron Replays is running already. Because I've already installed it. But that's how you install the program. Now I have it open already. And here is what it looks like. So you have all the tabs at the top. And I'll show you what each tab is. You can you have your repl replays tab, my favorites, etc. The two most important tabs is replays and check for updates. Now, how replays work in League of Legends is if you have League of Legends patch 6.9, you recorded a game, you can only spectate and replay games that were on the same patch. For example, if League of Legends went to patch 7.0 and I have this game that I recorded literally today. Today is May 15, 2016. I recorded it today. It will only work on patch 6.9 as long as League of Legends is on patch 6.9. A good note is that it shows you the version of when the game was recorded right here. This game was down here with the Nautilus game was recorded um, 4-3-2016. So a month ago, in April, 3, 
And if I try to play it, it will not work. So how this program works? Easy. You can save it as an MP4. It Saving as an MP4, I would not recommend since it takes a lot of space. Or you can hit this play button to replay the replay that you have. And that's all there is to it. After you hit the play button of a replay, it'll bring you up to League of Legends. And it will start spectating the game like normal. So this looks exactly like if I was spectating your game or spectating a friend's game. It has a typical replay HUD and you can do whatever you want and do the same things that you would be able to do if you were spectating a friend's game. Now let's get Creator Suite and get awesome camera controls for this replay. Before you get Creator Suite, you should already have a replay saved. Now on Baron Replays, I just played a game and I have it saved, ready to go. Now we visit this site. I'll leave a link in the description. Just check the description for the Creator Suite link. It used to be called Skin Spotlights Replays, I think, but now it's called Creator Suite. We scroll all the way to the bottom, we go to download and click here. And now we click here to download our attachment. Now I'll save it to my downloads folder. It's a zip file, so we'll need a program to extract it. I'll use 7-zip. I'll go to my downloads folder. I'll right click Creator Suite, 7-zip, and extract to Creator Suite folder. And then it makes a folder Creator Suite. We can double click it. Now this is a very important step. You have to right click Creator Suite and run as administrator. Don't forget to run this program as administrator. You need admin access. Hit yes on the prompt. Creator Sweep opens. You can accept the end user license agreement. And now the program will open momentarily. And it says scanning for game. So this is where Baron Replay comes along. Or you can spec the game because it needs to be configured. Creator Suite needs to set up before being able to use it. Law versions patch 6.6 .6 to 6.9. Now we will open Baron Replay and hit the play button. Now after you open a replay with Creator Suite open, what will happen is that Creator Suite will start loading up. It finds the game. Everything is unlocked. You should see it all green. Now you know it's working. Now what can you do with Creator Suite? First of all, on the status tab, you can see that we can change the playback speed, make the game faster. We can check our LoL version and use different LoL versions. So potentially it might even work for PBE, but I wouldn't know about it. Um, you can check to see if it does work for PBE. You can disable the announcer voice. Uh, I currently have my League of Legends volume off so that I can explain all of these to you. You can disable environment. I'm not really sure what disable environment does, but disable HUD, let's demonstrate. If you if we hit disable HUD and turn it on, it'll turn orange. We go to League of Legends and there is no HUD. So this makes for a very cinematic, uh, cinematic experience. Now, off the bat, with Creator Suite, we can zoom in and zoom out, out of bounds of what we normally can do. For example, if we start scrolling, we use the scroll on our mouse, we can zoom out really far. We can zoom out all the way out and we can see the entire map, which is really cool. Or we can zoom all the way in and we can even go underneath the map, which would be probably useless, but still a good option or a cool option. I'll scroll back up and now we will flip disable HUD off. We can disable the mouse outlines so what that does is that normally when you are highlighting over a champion they kind of give a highlight color. For example if I highlight over a blue champion it would have this blue highlight outline and that's kind of how it works. So I'll just say uh, turn it off. Now, the thing that you probably are most excited for is at the camera data tab. Camera data tab allows you to look in first person mode, which is super awesome. If we go to camera mode and we flip it to FPS, go back to League of Legends, we click once, we, 
we are looking at the game in FPS mode. We can go and use the mouse. If we left click, we can control the camera angle. And we can look at the game in different angles that you wouldn't be able to do before. Down, uh, if you have a number pad, you can look at the game and then go forward. Because, of course, I'm in the stationary position, but I want to go up, left, down, right. I know for laptops with number pads or computers with keyboards with number pads, the up, down, left, right on the number pad, well, 4 is to go left, 6 is to go right, 8 is to go up, and 5 is to go down. So it isn't quite up, down, left, right. It's the format of WASD, except it's 4, 8, 6, 5 for left, up, right, down. And so we can just go, change the angle, go forward, maybe go to ground level. We can also change the speed of this. And I am pretty sure you can change the kip, uh, different camera bindings. But for now, I'll demonstrate you a way where... We disable the HUD, we turn the camera data camera mode to FPS. Camera speeds, you can change the camera speeds right here to make it go faster because going up, down, left, right is pretty slow. And then we can create a very cinematic experience like so. Now afterwards, you might be able to change the sky manipulation. You can change the sky color, for example. Normally it's black, but let's change it to something really noticeable like pink. Like so. We go back to League of Legends, and you can see the sky is pink. Uh, some content creators change the sky to a color that kind of fits the mood to make it like a very dramatic scene. But black looks more natural to me. Can you change the sun location? Let's put it right above game and you can see the lighting is sort of different it's not completely noticeable but you can make the lighting very very different we can put the Sun very far away and it's barely noticeable but I do believe that there is a sort of difference if we look at the textures very closely all right, let's flip that back on, put it roughly at the same position we found it. And the last big thing is the hotkeys. Now the hotkeys camera controls, right? I mentioned to you that for camera controls, I that might not be camera controls. I'm not really sure, but like I said, with the FPS mode, the camera controls is only available by default with the number pad. So you can change the camera controls here with the hotkeys, I think. Now for the keyframes. This is a really big thing because keyframes allow you to create really cinematic movements in the game. So by default, no hotkeys are set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some hotkeys. And I'm going to set it to add keyframe, remove last keyframe, and activate the key clear keyframes and activate the keyframes. So what numbers I'll put it to. Is I'll put first we click on the button that we want to set add keyframes I'll set it seven because let's, let's click on it again so you need to double click it hit seven confirm double click remove keyframes I'll use eight and confirm you need to probably triple click it just in case because you need to see this confirm and clear button activate keyframes I'll put nine confirm and then clear keyframes, you double click again within this little box. I'll hit zero and confirm. So how does this work? Let's go to the keyframes tab. All right, so first I'll set a keyframe right here. So I hit seven. Now I'll go a little bit right, hit seven again, go a little bit up, hit seven again. I'll go right over here, hit 7, gonna go a little bit further up, and hit 7. Now to activate the keyframes, I set my hotkey to 9, 
So what happens when I hit 9? This little scrolling thing that provides a very cinematic experience is really cool. So if you're a content creator, you can create really cool moments like this. And then backspace is just a command that's already within the spectate mode to go back 15 seconds. And then you just hit 9. Then you can just watch the game with the keyframes. So I set my hotkey 8 to remove the last keyframe and 0 to clear. And on the keyframe tabs, you can see what keyframes you have currently. They show the replay time, where it exactly is. This, you probably won't keep track of too much. But instead of using hotkeys, you can also press here to clear keyframes, remove keyframes. So I'll just clear all these keyframes. And you can also use this to save keyframes. You can save settings. I would assume that this can save your keyframe format. And then you can create really awesome cinematic experiences with this. And that really is the gist of the program. There are a couple of extra things. Live broadcast, that's kind of new for me. I don't really know how to use it. But the main gist of it is definitely FPS mode. You can change the speed again and the keyframes. And this is how you can create and control the camera very well in League of Legends replays. So if you like this video, if you figured out how to control the camera, if it worked for you, leave a comment, let me know. Leave any questions here. I'll try to answer some of them. I'm not always the best person to answer the questions. So hopefully everyone can collaborate and answer each other's questions. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time.